Welcome back to Help TV. Today we're learning about everything hot or not for the holiday season. Mm -hmm. yes. um, did you know that there's hot or not in food? Really? Yes, these are the oh. hot and not ingredients for food. Um, I can't even pronounce them. So kumquats are very popular, American caviar, Greek mm -hmm. yogurt, smoked pa pa paprika. <laughs> yes. I just stuttered on that one. I can pronounce that. White anchovies, I'm not really sure about that. Hmm. And this is what's um, not hot this year, lavender. Ahi tuna, portobello mushrooms. And, and foie gras, which yeah. I always thought that was huge, but what Ooh, do you know? I don't like it. Well, uh, now you've always got, your skin is always in great shape. I always have tougher time in the winter time, and now we have gone to find out about things that are brand new, hot, that can help you have great skin all year round. Trends in skincare right now, like fashion and uh, decor, we're seeing a big movement towards the green and organic phase. So within that, we're seeing a lot of natural products out there and a lot of mineral-based makeup. And uh, at-home products are becoming more and more prevalent uh, with the consumer, microdermabrasion and things like that. It's an item, you know, that we sell here at Sephora, uh, and it's the hottest uh, foundation right now. 100% uh, mineral, no preservative, no fragrance, and not even talc in it. You don't even feel that you have it on. It's very easy to use. I keep reading about it, seeing about it everywhere. Uh, diamonds, you know, are uh, basically mineral. So when you put a uh, mineral on your eyes, you know, you'll see a little bit sort of a reflection of little diamonds. I'd rather be wearing Mineral-based makeup has been around, but the big-name brands have really jumped on board, like L'Oreal, Maybelline, CoverGirl. I tend to look for ingredients that are more natural, organic, and really trying to stay a lot away from the chemical products if I can. You read that and you're like, oh my god, I'm putting that on my skin. People just want to know what's going into their bodies. It's still up to the consumer to educate themselves and look at the ingredients because something is listed as natural doesn't necessarily mean that it's safe for your skin. I guess they're working to make products pure all the time. I definitely like using organic lotions and creams. The green apple peel is one of our hot items. The Juice Beauty is 95% uh, uh, organic. No fragrance, uh, no petroleum, no paraben. Tanda Regenerate, which is a 660 nanometer light. Holtz is finding that they're having a lot of success selling the device, and there is a large demand because people want to have the power and be empowered to do this type of treatment at home. I've been using Tanda for, I guess, about three to four months now. It was highly recommended to me by a friend. You just pop on the head and press the button. When the green light is flashing, it's ready to go. And this is your application that you would use on the skin to kill the P. acne bacteria that causes the inflammatory reaction and causes a pimple or an acne outbreak. Break. You would hold it stationary over the area which you want to treat where you have a breakout for three minutes twice a day on clean skin. Um, I think I started to notice right away with the blemishes and then um, the rejuvenation took probably a couple weeks before I saw results. People are looking for a natural non-invasive way to combat aging as well as treat acne. There are many different chemical alternatives for treating acne such as peroxide based or acid based type treatments and what people are finding it's drying their skin, it's damaging their clothes, Clothing, it's damaging their towels because it has that bleaching aspect. Light therapy, in a, in a common way to understand it, the healthiest that we are is in the spring before we've exposed ourselves to too many UV rays. That's because our bodies react in a very natural way and a healthy way to light energy that's within the rainbow spectrum. There are other light devices that we see coming to market, but Tanda is the only device that has Health Canada, FDA, and CE, the green light for safe and effective use at home. It's been used in skincare clinics and dermatology offices for 35 years around the world. Certain products that typically we were seeing only uh, professionally done before they are coming home however um, I do think that it's done in conjunction with the advice of a dermatologist or your clinical technician I've, tr I've tried other treatments at home treatments such as masks at home microdermabrasions and I haven't really seen um, much of a result so with the Tanda I've really noticed a huge improvement in my skin I'm addicted to it <laughs> actually <laughs> One thing that I was surprised to learn about your skin is that you have to exfoliate like twice, twice a week on your face. I had no idea about that, but it sure has made a difference, that's for sure. We're going to get back to the fashion now, and uh, we're talking about what's hot or what's not. I want to bring up one website. It's uh, all about 50s fashion, and I want to show you some of the things you're going to see, because they've kind of been brought back into the certain styles. So you're going to see all sorts of uh, different lengths, different